prayer is a very important part of the Christian walk because without prayer, no Christian can build an intimate relationship with God. There is no one who can say he has a relationship with God without the avenue of prayer. When you get born again, prayer is the lifeline of the believer that connects him constantly to God. When you build a life of prayer, there, there are benefits, there are advantages that you gain that other believers who do not pray gain. Bible tells us in the book of Luke chapter 18, the verse 1, he says, he spake this parable to this end that men always ought to pray and not faint. Men always ought to pray. So prayer must be a daily habit in the life of every Christian who wants to survive. Listen, prayer is not a gift of the spirit. Prayer is a discipline for those who want to survive in this Christian walk. The Bible gave us all the whole armor of God in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. The verse 18 says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication. Telling us that this life is spiritual. It takes prayer to go ahead of you to put things in order in your life as a child of God. According to the scripture, the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 the verse 7 that every Christian must pray every time. Pray without ceasing. That's number one. Number two, every Christian must pray about everything. You must pray every time. Number two, you must pray about everything. Philippians 4, 6. Be anxious for nothing but by, but in everything by prayer. So the Christian is supposed to pray about everything. Number three, you must pray everywhere. 1 Timothy 2, 8. Every Christian must pray everywhere. The Bible says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Finally, or last but not the least, you must pray every way you know. First Timothy chapter 2, the verse 1 in message translation. You must pray every way. He says, first thing I want you to do is pray. Prayer is the first thing we do. Pray every way you know how for everyone you know. Which means when we speak of prayer, we are speaking of other elements of prayer, including prayer of praise, prayer of thanksgiving, prayer of warfare. So sometimes you find people make mockery of men when they are praying with a certain aggression. We, listen, prayer is hard. That is why we must pray every way we know. So sometimes in our all nights, we put beats inside the, the, the prayer and we pray, shake our head, hold our hands. It's because it is hard. So everywhere we know, we pray. So note the sequence. We pray every time. We pray about everything. We pray everywhere, which means you can pray in the toilet. You can pray in the office. We don't only offer prayers in church. He says we must pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands. Which means every environment you find yourself in can become an altar. In the courtroom, can become an altar. Your car can be dedicated to become an altar where you offer incense to God. You must pray everywhere you know. And finally, you must pray for every man. First Timothy chapter 2, the verse 1 to 2. In KJV, he says, I will therefore exhort therefore the first of all, supplication, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for every man or all men. So note the sequence. Every Christian must pray every time about everything, everywhere, in every way for every man. I repeat myself. Every Christian must pray every time about everything, everywhere, in every way for every man. 